Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I am Artifacts of Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, and this is Artifacts of Mars with Tyranny Watch News. This is July 12th, 2014, Amo Domini. In Livingston, Illinois, a bizarre show of force occurred in a small town in the uh, church, uh, school yard Livingston, Illinois has 850 people and they landed with helicopters, military weapons, and so forth in the schoolyard and apparently they're using it, using the schoolyard for a staging ground for a raid on a local house. Now, this is a small town, small sleepy town of 850. They showed up with armor, helicopters, all sorts of stuff. This is beyond belief. <laughs> I've even heard speculation we're actually already at war with the government. I don't know how that can be, but I'm just repeating what I heard. Okay, what else is new? In San Francisco, the San Francisco Giants are in the process of banning anything that's culturally insensitive. The incident stands, stems from an incident where a couple of Indians at the park's Native American Heritage Night went off on a white person who was wearing a native headdress apparently to honor natives and the Indians didn't like that so they said you take it off white boy so in typical liberal fashion the libs at San Francisco, we're going to ban anything that's culturally insensitive. That means if you're white, you be white, that's it. Unbelievable. This is fascism, folks. This is evil. Now in news of the invasion, According to WND.com, Mexico and Guatemala have reached an agreement that is intended to make it easier and safer for Central Americans, including unaccompanied minors, to enter the United States. Oh, gee whiz. There already had to have been an agreement, otherwise this would, have, would not have been happening to start with. Though largely unreported in mainstream media, big surprise there, the two nations agreed on July 7th in a presidential level meeting in Mexico to make it legal and safe for Central American immigrants, including unaccompanied minors, to cross Mexico's border with Guatemala and transit Mexico en route to the U.S. border at the Rio Grande. Well, there you have it, folks. It's official. There is an agreement. And you can bet, there's a picture of Obama with Mexican dictator in 2013 on the same page, and you can bet they have an agreement too. This is an invasion, but it's being orchestrated by your government. As reported on CNN, all it takes is a raft and $1.30 for Guatemalans to 
across into Mexico on a raft. So that's how they're getting from Guatemala to Mexico. They're taking the raft, the buck 30, and they cross from Mexico, head on the bus or whatever, and zoom on into the good old USA to get on that welfare and easy street. So it's not going to be easy street forever. I guarantee you that, people. And more border news while you are frisked, harassed, fondled, and everything else by the TSA in order to get on a plane. The illegals are allowed to get on without even any identification. They're just fast-tracking men on planes. And then they have the nerve telling me that they, I need to have my email search to make the country safer. These people are completely insane, folks. There's no question about it. This is on Breitbart.com. This is not the C... BP, Customs and Border Protection, and another federal agency renting or leasing an aircraft. These are the same planes that the American public uses for domestic travel, says Hector Garza, who is a uh, local union spokesman out of McCallum, Texas. This is just adds insult to injury. Not only are we releasing unknown illegal aliens onto the American streets, but we're allowing them to travel commercially using paperwork that can be easily reproduced or manipulated on any home computer. The notice appear to appear form has no photo anyone can make or and manipulate one. They do not have to have any security features, no watermark, no nothing. They're simply printed on standard copy paper using based on the information the illegal alien says is the truth. So there you have it, folks. You're being treated like fucking dirt, and they're being treated like royalty. You wonder why so many of us are angry? Well, there you go. Sorry for that word, but I'm getting madder by the minute. Now, turning to global cooling news. I said global cooling, not global warming. It's ludicrous. Earth is getting cooler, not warmer, and it has nothing to do with our activities as a cycle. In global cooling news, the polar vortex is set to make a return to the mid middle part of this country, and probably the whole country, next week. Record cold cold lows, according to CBS, are expected in Chicago and the Heartland. I wonder if we are going to have to cool, start heating in the middle of July. CBS 2 me meteorologist Megan Glaros Reports the polar vortex will be shooting a pocket of cold air our way in the middle of next week, possibly resulting in record cold low temperatures all across large portions of the Midwest and Upper Great Plains, including Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, Michigan, and Ohio. Temperatures won't be anywhere near as cold when polar vo vortex left Chicago's collective teeth chattering in sub-zero temperatures many days this past winter. Its return to Chicago could mean overnight temperatures in the 40s and low highs during the day should remain in the 70s. Well, that's a relief. At least we won't have to heat. I won't have to heat here on the East Coast. At least supposedly. We'll wait and see. On the other half of this big, beautiful planet, it seems that in Oz country, things are just as bad, if not worse. In Brisbane, Australia, 
The temperatures have hit their coldest levels in 103 years. Remember, it's winter on the lower half of this planet. If you're lucky enough to be reading this from the comfort of your blankets, it might be best to stay in there as Brisbane has hit its coldest temperatures in 103 years. Not since July 28, 1911 has Brisbane felt this cold, getting down to a brisk 2.6 degrees Celsius at 6.41 a.m. That's a little bit of our freezing. So, there you have it. Not only are we expecting record cool temperatures during the middle of summer, up here in the northern, on the upper half of the planet, but down on the lower half, it's record cold temperatures, or near record cold. And yet, we're still being told that we have to pay money to politicians in order to save us from global warming. Well, to heck with them. That's what I say. In IRS news, a federal judge has ordered the IRS to explain under oath exactly what happened to the missing emails of former tax exempt division chief Lois Linder. Friday, a different judge in the same district court ordered the IRS to explain under oath what happened to her Learner's computer hard drive. IRS Commissioner John Koskinen testified before Congress last month that the hard drive was recycled and presumably destroyed. Liar, liar, pants on fire. U.S. District Judge Reggie B. Walton wants the IRS to tell him Whatever they know about the hard, hard drive that Lerner says malfunctioned and lost two years of emails sought by congressional investigators and he wants those answers in just one week. Well, Judge, how's it feel to want? I don't think you're going to get any cooperation. Uh, these people got ha caught with their hands in the cookie jar and they're covering their sorry rear ends and want to be put in... They ought to be uh, spending about 50 years in the Iron Bar Motel, in my opinion. Good luck, Judge. And now for an unfriendly skies update. This is from TampaCBSLocal.com. Astronomers are baffled by mysterious radio, radio waves. Radio bursts coming from deep space. The headline says scientists no, have no handle on radio bursts coming from deep space. From beyond the Milky Way. What is happening is they're getting these bursts and they don't know why. Well, They're never going to admit, unless uh, something lands right in town square, that there are creatures on other planets. They're never going to admit this. It was received by the Arecibo uh, Telescope. A single split second bursts of radio waves discovered through the Arecibo radio telescope has given scientists new evidence of rare mysterious radio pulses emanating from deep outer space well beyond the ends of the galaxy. The astrophysicist journal the fast radio burst is first of similar sounds to be detected by an installation other than Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. It's published July 10th in the Astrophysical Journal. Well, that's going to wrap it for today's Tyranny Watch News. Uh, 
remember that what you're what you're seeing at 6:30 is a bunch of bovine excrement. All they're doing is serving you an excrement sandwich. Research things, look them up for yourself, and decide for yourself what's going on. You can do it. You're smart. You're intelligent. Especially if you're listening to this broadcast. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you very much.